I'm here with Scott Hall from Gabala Syntropic Farm in northern New South Wales and we're going to talk more about the placenta here in Syntropic Farming. Hey Scott, I see some amazing gardens there behind you. I'm wondering if you could explain how this is Syntropic and what, what you've got there. Okay, well this is what we call the placenta, again Syntropic agricultural successional agroforestry is all based on succession. Succession must occur for life to increase. Um, so this is where it all starts. This is where the, these are the first plants that cover the soil and this is why it's called the placenta. It's um, a protective covering over the earth. And so we uh, use vegetables together with life cycle in, in a combination of life cycle and strata to conform a consortium to, 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 to get our production and income plus also to prepare the way for the uh, longer lived species and when we spoke about the tree row this is largely what it would have looked like in its first year until it started the tree started poking up through the vegetables the same way you see uh, weeds covering the side of the road or somewhere uh, unattended and um, you'll see weeds everywhere but then you'll see woody species coming up. This is, we do this here, but we, we choose the plants, we manage the plants, but we use the same uh, path. So um, what we've got here is a combination of different life cycle and strata. Mm -hmm. um, here we have a situation where the, uh, it, we, we're, we're in a drought Mm -hmm. and we have a lot of bandicoots coming in to take the worms out of the soil uh, and feed because the drought is um, ongoing and increasingly severe so this is just part of what we're dealing with in the life of farming mm -hmm. um, but here here's a here's a very early phase of the placenta so here we have young radish mm, yum. These will be ready in a in a week or so. And under the radish we have carrot. And if we take those radish out when they're ready, those carrot are going to grow. And we're going to get a crop of carrots. And then uh, beyond that, we will get uh, kale and whatnot and spinach. Uh, this over here, is where the uh, radish are ready to come out and these radish are going to give to over to these cos lettuce and also the broccoli is coming through so the radish are just about to come out and give space for the next life cycle All right so the radish protected the cos and the carrot and the carrot yeah and um the cos will come out uh, in probably about uh 20 days after the radish and then it will be uh populated by or occupied by um broccoli and carrot here is a an older version of something mm -hmm. similar so here we're we're cutting the cos lettuce out now so there's a nice cos ready. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. <laughs> right. Got some juicy ones. <laughs> it's not as protected. There's a better one. Oh, wow. There we go. It's going to be cut today. Awesome. And these are all, will all be cut out. But, but, and then it will be occupied by broccoli. Uh, Resprouting broccoli, our favourite little banger. It's delicious, I can say. I've eaten it. <laughs> uh, so this has provided radish. Japanese turnip. Oh, there's a Japanese turnip. Yep. Tastes like wasabi and turnip. Turnip. <laughs> um, it'll it'll have it, there's beetroot still growing in between the uh, the brock line, but yeah. we have essentially um, the maturing phase of this placenta. Now this will this will will go well, once the vegetables are out. We'll we'll um, we'll crop it again because it, yeah. this isn't. Going to become a tree row. Yeah. So Namaste, Namaste told uh, talked about um, Namaste, who's on your shirt right oh, now. Oh yeah. 
um, talked about. It's like a heartbeat, like it's a pulse. Yes. When you're doing the annual crops, that, and you're yes. constantly rebuilding the soil still because it's constantly a biodiverse consortium. Yeah, there are limits with the if you don't keep succession going and if you stop it. There are limits that you run into, but they, you can manage them through other biological processes. Yep. Like we don't dig. We use a lot of the uh, Ruth Stout techniques mm -hmm. that we've all grown up with, with our, you know, our proper um, sheet mulching and soil care mm -hmm. uh, and return of organic matter. Uh, and yeah, you know, that uh, cycle, it, it really does slow down the inputs that, that go into it. Yeah yeah awesome well this is certainly very exciting and we've got more to come thank you so much for sharing that's all right